You're listening to Business Talk Radio, where we take business to the next level. And welcome back to the show. Of course, I'm your host, Mike David. And joining you today, please welcome my guest, Amy Satori. Amy, how are you today? Hey, I'm recovering from that flu that's going around, but I'm doing really well now. <laughs> ah, that's good to hear. We're glad that you're recovering from that. And, uh, hey. of course, Amy, why don't you start with first putting out your contact info or whatever is the best way for my audience to reach out to you for after the show. Okay. Um, one of the best ways is to go uh, to YouTube and put in my name, which is Amy Satori. S-A-T-O-R-I, because there's all kinds of really cool playlists and things for you guys to listen to and watch and enjoy, including a celebrity series, um, talks about life, and collective readings. So um, if not that, then you can go to my website, which tells all about me and all of my services that I offer and some history and things like that if you want to do some research, and that's at amysatori.com. And then um, if you want to get even more involved in the community that I've established, you can go to Instagram and search for Amy Satori there. And then you can plug into my community there and have fun um, with our little chats that we have over there. Excellent, excellent. And I just want to give a reminder to our audience, we are actually taking callers throughout the show, so if you would like to call in and ask Amy here a question, you can definitely do so by calling 631-627-3703. Once again, that number is 631-627-3703. Feel free to call at any point during the show and we'll make sure to get your question answered. And, of course, Amy, it's always a pleasure to have you on with us. We really do enjoy getting a little bit more insight and information that you give, of course. But maybe for those out there who are first time tuning in to you or just may not be as familiar, if you don't mind, just going over what it is you do exactly and just a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm an intuitive spiritual teacher. Um, I have experience with Qigong. I've actually been enlightened for about six months, years ago. Um, hey, Amy, sorry to cut you off right there. Sure. Uh, we do actually have a caller that would like to ask you a question, right. if you don't mind. Great. Let's do it. Excellent. Uh, caller, are you with us? Caller, are you still with us? <laughs> Hello? Anybody there? Yeah, I'm... Unfortunately, it seems like uh, we got disconnected there. Hopefully, they'll make an attempt they'll to call probably back probably. and help yeah, them yeah. out. Um, yeah. But, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. The caller, I think, calling back here. Uh, caller, are you with us? Hello? Hey? Yes. Hello? Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> uh, now we can hear you. Uh, why don't you go ahead and ask your question here to Amy? Okay. Hi, Amy. It's Callie. Kelly, hi. Hi. Um, so I wanted to ask a question related to romance, of course. <laughs> um, so last week was really fun because so I work at a movie studio and we had um, uh, an actor come in and I guess he... <laughs> told someone that he thought I was cute and so I of course blew that out of proportion and I was like, oh my god I hope he gets me out um, so I <laughs> I was wondering if you do see anything happening there at all or if it's literally just going to be that one comment um, <laughs> I get that it's uh that it's a crush um, that could sprout into something, but it hasn't. It's 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 not quite um, it's not quite a moment yet. But I think you guys are going to have another opportunity. Okay. Cool. Is he going to be coming back on a regular basis, or was he just there for the day visiting? Or um, I'm not entirely sure. I think like he could be in and out uh, through the rest of February. Um, but not past that. I think you're going to have about three other chances. And um, I'm, 
All right. Well, you know that I have a lot of uh, celebrities meeting normal people and dating on my collective Correct. love readings lately. I know. <laughs> I was like, is this my like, <laughs> Yeah, and I've heard more and more people confirming that. Um, so I definitely think that there's possibility there for sure. I think he is an option. I'm not sure he is the one option, but I think that yeah. he's definitely an option. Yeah. And, yeah. But you okay, guys cool. need you guys need some direct contact. You need to look into each other's eyes and have that first initial meeting. And there, and if you feel like those sparks start happening, which I feel like you will, then you guys are – he's going to ask you out. He's just going to – because he knows how long he's going to be there for. And so he's going to jump on that opportunity, uh-huh. and he's going to be asking you to go, you know, do something with him so that you guys have a chance okay. to talk. Cool. Um, well, yeah. thank you, because I, um, my, like, the feeling I'm getting with my masculine, which I don't know if it's just, like, my fear and ego, like, chiming in, um, but I kind of feel like he isn't budging anytime soon, and, like, he almost feels like he missed his window, and now he feels like I've moved on, and now it's just kind of like a vicious cycle, and he's just, I feel like, I don't know if he's going to do anything within the next few months even, you know? Yeah, I, I really feel like you're going to have about three other chances coming up here throughout February, um, mostly February. And I wait, do think he... Um, who? Sorry? In, like in, in February, I feel like you guys are going to have about three chances. If it hasn't happened huh. in February, if you guys haven't had some kind of a, a, a proper meeting or a proper hello, then mm-hmm. a dwindle off. Okay. But this is this is the chance. But I think he needs to make that happen. Oh yeah, totally. But that's the thing. It's like I've felt for so long like he's got to do something. He's going to do something. He's gonna, and then he never does. And so I'm like, I swear to God, like <laughs> if he doesn't do it now, it feels like it's never. All right, let me see. Um so you guys have had some history before this. Um well, I I called you, like, two months ago being like, yeah, I sent an that, email, like... Oh, that was about him? him? Yeah, telling him how, like, oh. I thought about him, and okay. he never uh, followed up uh, that... Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, let me see what the holdup is. He's insecure. Yeah. He's a little avoidant and insecure. Um... <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Uh, he sees you as fiery and confident, and he's a little bit intimidated. He's a little intimidated by you. It's a good kind of intimidated, though. So I think he's building himself up and challenging himself to approach you. Okay. I think he's going like, to do it. Months ago, a mutual friend of ours, like, I got triggered because I'm like, the, like, where is he? But she was like, yeah, I haven't seen him, like, I, I saw him recently, I hadn't in a year, and she was like, he's, like, way more confident now, and he's, like, more boss and in my head, I'm just like, thanks to me, like, like but I <laughs> <laughs> uh, It's true, it's true. Oftentimes, yeah. when somebody meets their counterpart, they really tend to step up. They're like, whoa, if I'm going to be yeah. with that. I mean, I'm sure it happened to you as well, right? Oh, totally, knowing, yeah. Knowing um, that he was a possibility, you're like, oh, well, okay, my life's about to go to another level. I better, like, really start changing some things and really start working on some things, right? Kick your butt into gear, too. Yeah. So yeah. Um, you're saying that it's basically like he is either going to muster up the courage to this month to do something or else, like, that's it. Like, this this isn't anything past this month. I don't think it's going to die. I just yeah. think that, it, that he, if he doesn't do something in February, it does feel like he's going to, he is going to discount it. He's going to try to discount the connection somehow. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I know. I know. Ah! Fate. Fate and free will, man. Yeah. Oh, 
him. Because, like, my brother getting married in August, and I'm like, I really want, like, a date, you know, to my brother's wedding. And I have it to be someone that I'm serious about, not just, like, you know, some random person. I know. I know. If only they knew what was going on behind the scenes. You know, and it's like the divine feminine sees a prospect and says, oh, my gosh, I really use that plug in here, 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 here. And they do it in a different way. And they're like everybody's insecurities kind of get in, in the way of them actually making that connection. But if only they could just like talk to you, <laughs> yeah. then it would kind of fill in all the holes for each other's lives. But yeah. they have this big disconnect for such a long time. Um, when they're not able to do that. But, you know, everything in divine timing, because I've seen things come together prematurely and things not go so great. They can be yeah. they can be rocky. They can, you know, break apart, come back together, break apart, come back together. Both people really need to level where they can be mature enough to have, like, to take personal responsibility and pull back and just reassess things and apologize for their part and say, you know, here's what I was afraid of, and it just kind of come with their heart yeah. on their sleeves, you know? And if he's not yeah. quite there yet, which I feel like he almost is, but if he's not quite okay. there yet, he, then he knows that he's, he's going to bite off more than he can chew. And they know that about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So it's best that okay. you um, just, if it doesn't happen in February, just tell yourself, you know, some, someday it, he may circle back around and have another opportunity but I'm not going to wait for that to happen. So yeah. this is, you know, you can pray. <laughs> you can pray and ask the angels to, like, ask the cupids to help out. Um, you can send him a blessing. You can talk to him. It's 5D in the 5D, meaning that you can imagine him there with you and tell him your plans. Be like, guess what? I got something we could go to in August that would be so cool if you could come and, you know, just talk to him, and it'll get through to his higher self. And if he's ready, okay. it'll sink down somehow into his um, subconscious 3D mind and give him the idea or the pressure to, like, do something, do something, do something, you know, because they'll, th they'll be like, look, this is a great idea. This would benefit everybody, so let's let's get this ball rolling. And they'll feel that, you know. Okay. Could you do a light language blessing before I go? Yes, yes, of course. Okay. Hi, Shimo Mokesa, na elekiri ita pona. Oh my God! <laughs> he just said you're like a princess. How does he talk to a princess? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. <laughs> He's like seriously, like, what do I do with that? He's pointing over at you like you're a thing or something. He's like, what do I do with that thing over there? Like, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um Hashikimo Bobons Ailikiri Natela. Because he says that he knows how to dance on the dance floor with someone like you, but he doesn't know like in real life. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, <laughs> it, but it's like, okay. <laughs> like you I'm telling you, you intimidate him. Um Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, let your hair down or something next time he's around, like look grungy. <laughs> it's like she's too perfect. She's like a tiny doll. All right, let me continue. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Be really friendly. Be kind of flirty, bunny. Sense of humor will do a lot for him. It'll help him relax. If you can... Even make fun of him, or or just do something kind of funny, or or human around him. It would really help. It would really help. Um, Ashiki says, "Say la She always looks so in charge. Um, so I don't know. Try to try to try to lighten the mood a bit. Try to lighten the mood when he when he frowns. I don't know. It just makes me think of those quirky times in the movies where, you know, like she's a total klutz and she trips and falls in front of him and feels like an idiot and all that kind of stuff. And you don't want that to happen, but you kind of do in your case. <laughs> like, oh, my God. 
she would be like, oh, good, she's human, you know, she makes mistakes. Oh, my God. <laughs> she needs me. He kind of feels like you don't need him in a way, like like you're too put together. Okay, wait, one more thing. Um, she can't tell you no more. Okay, not a chasela. Who okay, okay, she's to do my. Well, I can tell you this: you're the only person that he is, uh, that that keeps coming back to his thoughts consistently. Yeah. I don't think he's interested in any anybody else. Yeah. So I this just told like, you. How I, can you let this like? How can you discount it after everything that you've gone through thinking about me? But okay. He'd better not give up on himself. And that, but if he did, I just thought that it would be temporary. He'll come back around any anyway, even if he does yeah. kind of tell himself. He he tends to kind of beat himself up and kind of act like Eeyore sometimes. So he would just kind of go That's through like a little. He act like Eeyore, you know. Oh, nothing yeah. ever works okay. out for me. You know, here's another situation where I failed myself. Oh, you know, God. just like beat himself up and get all depressed about it and do all this really stupid stuff before he comes around full circle and be like, hey, I have another opportunity to go over to that studio. She might be there. Okay. Well, that was but you know what? So life... awesome. Thank you so much, Amy. <laughs> yeah, and you know, life and fate has its way of working these things out, even if they do have to kind of cycle back around and take a detour to realize what they want and how valuable they are. So let life, you know, just trust that life has its, has is going to have its way with him one way or another. And um, the good thing is too, I feel like he's really being, um, he's really like he, there were things that had kind of a stronghold on him before. I don't know if it's like addictions or bad habits or, Something that he used to feel like would always be a part of him, his life has been like shaken off of him. Something's dropped his hold on him. So um, no matter what, you've created like a really good thing to happen in his life, and that doesn't go forgotten. You know what I mean? You've already yeah. impacted his life in a very positive way that way. And he does know that it does have to do with you. He's like, if I'm going to have that caliber of a girl in my life, then I've got to, you know, I've got to change these things about me once and for all, for me. So, good for him. Oh, wow, that's so beautiful. <laughs> Yay. Okay, well, thank you, Amy. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, and you're welcome, and keep keep me apprised. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye, Amy. See you, Callie. Thanks again for calling in. We definitely appreciate that. Just want to give a, a quick reminder for anyone else trying to call in. That number is 631-627-3703. Again, that's 631-627-3703. You still have a little bit of time to call in and get a question answered for sure. And, uh, Amy, uh, you know, just kind of hearing your your interaction with our caller um it's it's really interesting. Do you usually get asked about uh relationships and and you know potential things that could happen with certain individuals relationship wise yeah um I've just found that there there are a couple of different types of true love relationships, and I call them counterparts, whether they're twin flames or soulmates, and there's a song and dance that go with each. Um, there's not really much of a song and dance that goes with the soulmates because and people don't usually call in about those unless they're trying to just identify that that's what they are. But um, with a with a twin flame, it's it's so it's so wonky in trying to make it come together. People come together, they go apart. They come together, they go apart, depending on their level of maturity and where they're at when they meet. And it's it's pretty complicated and messy. Um, in fact, that's usually what people say to me if they sit down to have a reading and they're just like, oh, you know what, it's kind of complicated. I immediately know, oh, that's a twin flame. <laughs> you know, <laughs> here we go. Um, but I can help them kind of kind of navigate and take care of themselves. And to, you have to, um, it's not about being able to come together with this person in a relationship. It's all about your spiritual growth and how you're able to love yourself. The more you love yourself and become independent and autonomous, 
the more your partner does as well. You guys are attached energetically. So there's this whole thing that happens where both people, like you heard, kind of grow each other um, mm-hmm. just by kind of inspiring each other, just by knowing each other, just by meeting. I mean, it doesn't take much. Um, right. And then, hey, hey, Amy, we actually do have another yeah. caller that would like to ask you a question. Oh, great. Sorry to interrupt there. All right. No, that's um, fine. Uh, call, caller, are you with us? Yes. Excellent. Why don't you go ahead and ask your question to Amy here? Uh, well, my question is, recently my friend passed, and sometimes I feel like she's giving me signs. How can I be sure? Well, for one, yes, for sure. Um, he is giving you signs. Um, they will try anything that they can to get your attention. The way that you uh-huh. know is you think of them when it happens. And I know that you've thought oh, okay. of them every time that it's happened. <laughs> Um, but and that's why they do what they do because they know what will catch your attention. Um, sometimes they they break things, they'll break plates, or they'll they'll they know you're into birds, and so they'll send birds. Or you'll know that they're that you knew that they knew they were into birds, so they'll send birds. Uh-huh. But it's it's or they send songs or anything like that. But if if it makes you think of them when the thing happens, then it's a sign for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. What is that? All you needed? <laughs> yeah, no, that's you that to... Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> um, and just so so anybody knows who's listening, also, I can talk to your deceased loved ones, and I can give you a message from them. Um, I can even talk to inanimate objects. I can talk to animals. I can talk to you know your pets. Well, no matter what kind of pet it is. So. Yeah, ask me anything. Excellent. And, uh, again, thank you to the caller that called in there. Uh, now, when people are coming to see you, you know, it, it seems like you do cover a lot of ground. You know, you're able to help people with relationships, people that, um, you know, have loved ones that passed on, and, and it seems like you do a lot. So when people are first coming to you for the first time, is there anything that they should maybe prepare beforehand? Um, should they should they know certain things before coming to see you? Um, what would you say? A good question. Um, I would say I I always encourage people. I can do I can I can spend so much time like just just reading your field and your energy and seeing what the angels have to say to you and all of this. But I always say that if you have a question, make sure that you write that down or make sure that you ask that because they don't want you walking away saying, oh, I could have asked her about this. So think about all the major decisions you need to make in your life. Which job would be best for you? Which location would be best for you? Are you living your divine purpose? Is the book that you're writing on track or is anything that needs to be added or tweaked in order for it to be even better? How about the presentation of the speech you're going you're gonna to give? How about your cast and crew? Are they the right ones to be in your movie? How about, you know, your band members? Or is there a better way that you could be working with them, um, a way to get along with them better? How could your relationship improve with your husband, spouse, or children? Uh, what do your tr- children really think of you? What do they need help with right now that they m- may not be telling you about? Um, any of those types of questions. It, basically, if you are, are struggling or stumbling at all in any area of your life, then write that question down. And just it's never going to hurt to just ask what spirit has to say about that issue. They can yeah. see things that you can't, that you are kind of blind to. Gotcha. Yeah, super interesting. Now, for people that want to, um, you know, find out more information about you and your services, again, where is it that people can go? Uh, they can go to amysatori.com. If they want to get a taste for what I do, they can go to YouTube and put in the name Amy Satori, and they can look up the Satori show maybe even. In, in my podcast, I do all the healings that I do, I do all the various readings I do. I talk to animals and pets. I do healings on pets. And you can see like a full range of like probably an hour and a half worth of me working on my abilities with people. Um, Or you can go to Instagram as well. But you can tell most about me, a lot about me and my services if you just go to amysatori.com and click on services. 
Excellent. Amy, thank you so much again. It, it is so cool to have you on, have you help out our listeners and, and, and make an impact on people and just kind of learning about your world and how you're able to uh, really just, again, cause an impact. Um, it is so cool, and I just want to say thank you so much again for taking the time out to share with us today. You're welcome. No My problem, pleasure. and uh, we definitely look forward to next time as well. And for everyone else out there, please stay tuned. We're going to be right back.